Race doesn't exist. Why does racism? Race, a group of persons related by common descent or heredity. Scientific racism. Large parts of the academic community take the position that while racial categories may be marked by a set of common phenotypic and genotypic traits, the popular idea of race is a social construct without base in scientific fact. The physical features commonly seen as indicating race are salient visual traits such as skin color, cranial, or facial features and hair texture. As the science of anthropology took shape in the 19th century, European and American scientists increasingly sought explanation for the behavioral and cultural differences they attributed to groups. In Charles Darwin's most controversial book, The Descent of Man, he made strong suggestion of racial differences and so-called European superiority. The three great races, Mongoloid, Caucasian, Negroid. Martin Luther King rightly objected to the term black on the grounds that it reduced an entire people to a single color. Most recent research in population genetics refer to populations within the Sub-Saharan Africa as Kosanid and Black African. Mongoloids suffer from too great a dispersal to be convincingly considered a single race. Too many Cherokees boast D ancestry. Indians, Cambodians, Levantins, Brazilians, Mexicans, and a slew of other groups cannot be pinned down racially. Whites and Negroes are the only two clearly genetically discernible races. Complications such as these have scientists suggesting that race is entirely a social construct. Eye color, skin tone, and physiognomy is highly valued in the USA, where it is the official way of categorizing citizens since the nation's birth. The same facts have no validity in Russia and Argentina, which would consider their institutionalization irrelevant and would be considered outright dangerous and preposterous in continental Europe. Racial identity is part and parcel of an American's concept of the self. But for a Russian and Argentinian, it is still secondary to that of ethnicity, language, culture, and location. People may be white in all these places, but only in a few will the majority of these people identify as white. England officially classifies its inhabitants into whites, Asians, and blacks. The rest of Europe bluntly refuses to do so. The term Caucasian, Mongoloid, and Negroid are based on an outmoded theory of racial distinction and are no longer used. New DNA studies suggest that all humans descended from a single African. Under the recent African origin theory, the population in Africa is paraphyletic to other human groups because it represents the ancestor group from which all non-African populations derive. The smooth gradation of human genetic variation in general rules out any idea that human population groups can be considered monophyletic as there have always been considerable gene flow between human population. Spencer Wells has traveled the world collecting blood samples to analyze the genetic changes in the Y chromosome of people in all regions of the world. Wells and colleagues concluded that all humans alive today are descended from a single African man. We're all effectively cousins separated by 2,000 generations, he said. If we all come from one man, what is race? Religious, cultural, social, national, ethnic, linguistic, genetic, geographical and anatomical groups have been and sometimes still are called races. A division of people on earth is more properly called a nation which is distinguished from the rest by common descent, language, or institution. How accurate is it to assume that one is related by skin color or hair texture? Classify these people. DNA proves that all men on earth come from one man.
They call his name Adam. Deroxribonucleic acid is a nucleic acid that contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms and some viruses. The main role of DNA molecules is a long-term storage of information. The DNA segments that carry this genetic information are called genes, but other DNA sequences have structural purposes that or are involved in regulating the use of this genetic information. Within cells, DNA is organized into long structures called chromosomes. Males have one Y chromosome and one X chromosome, while females have two X chromosomes. The Y chromosomes in males holds important information about that individual's ancestry. By testing your Y chromosome, a DNA laboratory can provide you with your DNA markers, which is specific for your family line. Unlike all other chromosomes, the Y chromosome is unique because it is passed down relatively unchanged along the male lineage, thus holds valuable information about a male's ancestry. For example, a distant male forefather will pass his Y chromosome down to all his sons. His sons will pass the same Y chromosome down to all their sons, and their sons down to their sons in the next generation, and so on. Thus, all males who are connected to this common forefather will have the same Y chromosome. Y chromosomal Adam is the name given by researchers to the male who is the most common patrilineal ancestor of all living humans. Genetic marker, any specific gene that produces a readily recognizable genetic trait that can be used in family and population studies or in linkage analysis. A study of 121 distant populations of modern day Africans has found that they are all descended from 14 ancestral populations and that the differences and similarities of their genes closely follow the differences and similarities of their spoken languages. The results confirm that Africans have the highest within population diversity worldwide and suggest that they originated from 14 ancestral groups. The scientists analyzed the genetic variations within DNA of more than 3,000 Africans and found that the San were among the most genetically diverse group. The study published in the journal Science took 10 years of research involving trips to some of the most remote and dangerous parts of Africa to collect blood samples. The project found modern Africans had the most diverse DNA of all racial groups in the world, confirming the idea that Africa is the birthplace of humanity. Today, Africa Africa has more than 2,000 groups with different ethnicities and languages. Most African populations seem to show genetic traces from multiple ancestral groups, supporting previous archaeological and linguistic evidence for migrations across the continent that would lead to mixing. We all come from Adam, but part two will answer the question using the scriptures, were we all created equally when Yahuwah separated the nations? Conclusion, if you are not a racist, you will not identify yourself as black, white, red, or yellow, but by your nationality.